All right, guys, welcome back. We are on the new update, Signal Void, and there's a lot of exciting changes. Whoa, look at those icons. Uh, unfortunately, the tails don't apply in Interloper, so we're not going to be taking part of that in this series. But there are a lot of interesting features. There's some new clothes, most of which we probably can't find. But mostly what I care about is acorns and oak trees. And not only that, ooh, we can find, um, apparently for the past few months, prepper caches have just not existed at all in the game. But now they're back. There's a lot more of them. And you can actually find them on Interloper. Oh, interesting. So you have to cook the acorns. I don't think I need this fire anymore. So you need a heavy hammer to make these. And you can either take four cooked acorns and do this, or... Interesting. I'll have to see exactly uh, how this works. First step is going to be... Ooh. So you start by preparing them. You shell them, must be cooked prior to eating, or hammering into ground. So you either cook them to eat, or you directly just hammer them. Both of these say cooked, but one's a large portion, which is interesting. I guess what we should do is check, uh, are there any oak trees in Ravine? Because they have been added to, I imagine, most maps. And I suspect there's at least one in Ravine, but I don't know, so let's let's explore. I don't really want to leave until we get well fed. That's a lot of cattails. So I'll leave everything here. It shouldn't be too cold out. And in fact, I should drop some more weight. It's mostly our cattails, unfortunately. I guess I just have to leave a bunch of these and then do the classic click 30 times to pick them up. And we can also look for sticks and birch. Should be pretty obvious if we find any oak trees because they look so different from all the other existing trees in the game, I'm pretty sure. And I still do have to be careful because this is, you know, an interloper run. Here a deer. Yeah, it'd be quite the surprise if they just decided, let's introduce wolves into Ravine in this update. None of the birch has respawned since the first time we came here. Although there hasn't been that much of a storm. I don't, I feel like at the end of last episode I said I had a plan and I'd probably forget it and I kind of forgot it. Grass always looked this nice. Um, but as far as I can tell, it's just wait for well fed and then move and maybe move the items across the ravine. But, but we're not going to Coastal Highway yet, I don't think. Because we just have too many items to take with us. Although I suppose I don't need to take all the cattails with us. I could leave some in the cave and leave this as like a minor base. It is pretty cold. Carrying the food's gonna be the issue. I don't see any oak trees over here. I don't know exactly what they look like, but I've seen them in the teaser imagery a little. A little bunny. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is there anything I can take over right now other than maybe the water and the... It wouldn't be worth because we'd have to go all the way to the next cave. So we should just do that all in one trip. wonder how many times I'm going to walk back and forth in this tiny area. I mean, it'd be way too nice of them to just put the cave here. So I understand why they kind of hide it off on the side, but... 
It's always a walk. And it's midday and it's negative 15. I wonder how much how much colder the world's gotten since the beginning. It has been how many days? 20 wow, 30. And there's also this new section in the journal. Probably leave a lot of the cattails here, take all the meat, since the cattails will last significantly longer. But we are too cold. Doesn't seem like there's any on this side. There could be towards the entrance or maybe on the exit, so we'll just have to keep our eyes open. Now, if I pick up, like, all of this, that's not too bad. So we can probably make that walk. We also don't need all this water. I can leave, like, these 30 cattails here, and, like, a liter of water, and then if we ever need it, we can try and come back for it. And we'll have all of this stuff. In fact, I think I'll, I'll take, like, one firewood with us. Just so we have something in case of a blizzard other than the coal. But I think most of this stuff we can just leave. Yeah, none of it's really cured yet. But I can pick all this up. And then with the cooked meat, we'll be slow, but we won't be so slow that we can just... That we won't be able to move. Because I don't just want to sit here and have like three or four episodes of us in this cave. Seems kind of boring. So we need to at least uh, make a little bit of progress. It is midday. We're kind of cold. I'd rather not start a fire unless I can somehow use the magalens in here. No. Can you see the cooking menu before? No, not when the fire's off. I want to see if they had any changes. Okay, so maybe if we repair some of our clothes. That will also help decrease weight. This has been sort of bothering me for a while, but... Increasing... I'm not wearing that. How long have I been carrying that? And what was I going to replace with it? Why have I... Wait a minute, wait a minute. How long have I had this in my inventory? What? So, it's slightly better than the ski jacket, I think, for about the same. It's a bit heavier, but it's... I think it was, like, identical, except it's slightly worse, actually. I don't know why I've had that on me this entire time. Maybe I should have left that somewhere, but there's only so much I can do now. But that's a whole kilogram we don't have to carry anymore. How have I not noticed that? <laughs> okay. Now this is 77%. If I repair it, it will be all the way up. It's a bit risky because it's going to take a lot. I think I should just probably... This or the socks. This will go all the way up as well. This gives us some time to get warm. They also fix the wind sound effects. At least they claim. It sounds like they have, which is really good because that's such an important indicator for the weather. Oh, yeah, fire hardened arrows as well. So you still need five feathers? Oh boy. So, yeah, it really is like an early game type thing because you need so many feathers. But it's still good that it exists, I guess. I mean, it seems kind of dumb, honestly. Because if you're going to be bow hunting, it's kind of better to just save the, the feathers for actual arrows. And all this can really hunt is like a rabbit. Like maybe, I don't remember. They say it doesn't really hurt like wolves. I don't know what they said about deer. If you could maybe 
take down a deer with this, with like a lot of these, maybe it would be worth it. But if all you can take down is a rabbit, then I think you should just use a stick. Although, I guess you can level up your bow faster or something, but it's still five, it's still five feathers for it. Oh goodness. Seems like a blizzard. Well, maybe it's a good thing we didn't move then. The effect looks kind of different, but maybe that's just because it's daytime and it's bright. If this is a blizzard, it still doesn't have the familiar blizzard howling noise. So I'm not sure. I mean, maybe I brought this because I was going to tear it down, but that seems kind of dumb to tear it down. So I won't, unless I really need to. And... Looks like we actually do need a fire now. I think I'll wait... Until I get, like, much colder. Since we don't have a hypothermia risk, it's not that big of a deal. These could be worth repairing because they're just solid. They're just, like, actually good. Yeah, like, you see how little temperature this gave us? I think repairing these would give us even more than that. ones I don't know if the damage actually like matters which layer it would damage first okay well we have one cloth left do I want to use that on this well, we will get plenty and how many first aid we have four bandages so we could always tear apart something if we really needed to I think so I'm going to try again we are warming up again. And yeah, like you see, repairing this gave us like point... Like in total, it was like 0.4 degrees total. But this repairing gave us like 0.57, like 0.7 in total. Even though they were both like the same percent that we sort of repaired. In terms of food and water, we'll be fine. But I would like to get moving really soon. I guess we really just have to wait. We are not cold because we just repaired that. And unless I tear this down, there's not much more repairing we can actually do. So I guess I have to pass time some other way. no new clothes. They did add like a rifle holster type thing that you use an accessory slot for, which I think is really cool because the rifle is always just a pain and it's not necessarily easy to get, so that's good. And we have some teas we can prepare. Yeah, we really just don't have much to do other than I, I think we need to start a fire because there's just actually nothing else. I guess we can read. It didn't really occur to me. If I started... No, just this one. That's the good thing about daytime, I guess. I'm gonna go grab one of the cooked meats out here, just to have in our inventory. If these actually finish curing, I might take some of them with me. I don't know. Maybe not. I could just leave them. We will need better clothes soon, though. But, at least we can sit in this cave and stay warm. There it goes. 
So now we have to decide, am I going to go to the next cave right now? I think I might, and in which case I'm taking the wood with me if I can. And our water. Three, three. Let's see how cold it is. It's going to be warming up a little. Okay, I think we can. It should be the warmest time of the day. Let me just guarantee I have everything I want. I don't care about the rest of this. I can always come back for it. The cattails. Now how much? Maybe I'll get up to 40. Wow. Okay. So I'll just take that and then we can cross. If there isn't another cave. I mean, I know that there is, but if there isn't because I'm misremembering or something, that'll be interesting. Either way, we need the items over there, so we could always sprint back. I have my bedroll. So I think we're good. And then eventually we'll come back for this, all of those uh, hides and guts. It's negative 10. So, we should be okay. I didn't consider that I might pick up sticks on the way, but I can always eat a little bit of meat. Since we're a little hungry, and that will drop the weight we need, I guess. I don't see anything new from that blizzard, though. Blizzards also affect beachcombing now. And you can get small boats washing on the shore, I think, from what they've said. Which will be very interesting. I'm curious about what types of items you can find in those. I wonder if boats will be a way for, like, stranger things to become a renewable resource. Because, like, before, it kind of makes sense. Okay, you find wood washed up, you find fish, you find, like, sticks or something. Like, that makes sense. But to find, I don't know, like, just some item that you normally wouldn't be renewable, washed up, a boat would enable you to just place it in the boat, and then it makes sense that it washed up. Not because the item itself is so light or anything, but because the boat is what floated up to the coast, you know? I hope that makes sense. I'm really noticing this yellow grass for, like, the first time. And I do also know that the ravine has a hitbox that will kill you if you just start falling. So, there is, if I fall, there is no chance of survival because I'll, well, the chance of survival will be even lower than it would be if I were just falling from a height. That scared me so much. That face, I just walk up and I see that face, that's so scary. Also, it's floating, but, you know, free meat to hide, maybe. Yeah, I'll come back for this. I want to drop the, these items first. Um, if we're coming back, I guess I can drop the raw meat here. That way it's in the cold, I have less weight to carry. There's a container, I can come back for that. But I know that, like, off to the left, there should be a cave. Ravine's a really nice map, though. It's just... I don't remember if it's the only map with no wolves. I mean, there might be some transition regions without them, but it's just kind of nice sometimes to have no predators to worry about. And, of course... It's balanced because you can't just stay here forever. Eventually you'll run out of creatures to hunt. Wait. I'm so cold. I'm warming up a bit. At least all the there's tons of uh natural loot for us to grab here, all these 
sticks and mushrooms and birch. No acorns though, as far as I can tell. What am I looking at over there? Oh, just a carn. I mean, there is a lot of food. You could last a good while here off of the, like, handful of deer and stuff, but long term it wouldn't be good for us. The more time we spend without, like, just looting as much as we can, the, the harder it's going to be later. Wow. 25. Um... I don't know if I want to risk that. I have so much food. Later, when we level up uh, our like cooking or whatever, maybe it could be good. This cave looks enormous. Okay, I'm going to leave that as an option, but with all the food we have, I don't see the reason. Now, what can I drop in here? I'll drop the meat outside. These aren't that heavy. I guess the firewood. Well, we're going to need a little bit on us. Okay. We'll come back here to sleep, though. I think we'll stay up a little bit in the night, because that way when we wake up, it will be closer to midday, which should be warmer. Uh, I don't need all of this on me. In fact, I really don't need, like, much at all. We're still really heavy because of the cattails. So, I'll drop all of them just to lose that weight. In fact, that wasn't even that heavy. Small hypothermia risk, so we should be fine. And... See if there's anything over here to get. This is a cute little corner. I don't think there's really anything here. Thought I saw a backpack for a moment. Could be a good place for a fire, though. In an emergency, even though the cave is right there, which... ...defeats the purpose, I suppose. Because it's kind of objectively a worse spot. But... I guess if you're really lost in the blizzard and you just can't find that cave that's... ...six feet away... ...it's a good spot. Now if we go to the left, we'll cross the bridge. But we're not doing that yet. We're not too cold. And I can't say no to a free carcass. I mean, I could say no, but it, it seems like it's a good idea to take. see what's in here. Nothing. Oh, whoa, do you, oh, I need to see that again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is there just a hitbox here in the terrain that just... Or was I on the snow? Yeah, that... <laughs> um, interesting, I can fly, apparently. Now it's negative 15. It's gonna be getting colder. But this doesn't... 
Oh, I thought I heard like Aurora sound effects, which would have been interesting. Not really a big deal because, you know, Ravine. No, I, I can't put this like any lower. I don't think. And I should really use a torch. Torch and uh, either one. It is getting windy. And we're not in wind protection. I don't think. Or maybe it's been windy, I can't really tell. So. We're not warm. Maybe I'll warm up a tea. Six minutes. Anything I can do in that time other than wait? Yeah, I'll just take the meat. We're getting cold damage. Now we can drink this and warm up. We have all this meat. That's pretty bad. So 48, 75. Then I will I'll cook this right now. Seems like the fire is still going. I like the new icons. 14 minutes. Fourteen minutes. Okay. And we will need some more water. So I guess. Yeah, that will be about right. So like 20 something more minutes. Hide will take 36. I think I can wait. Actually, is it faster to use a knife while it's still frozen than your hands later? I don't remember. But I'll just do this. Eight minutes. So I guess if there's anything to do It would be in the crafting menu, but I don't think they're really... I guess I could do this, since this is five minutes. Now this is cooked. Water will be boiled real soon. We are cold. And now the hide. 36 minutes. Oh, the water might boil, but that's okay. Carcass is gone, and we have everything from it. Still have an hour on this. I think I'm going to cook these. Since we have the fire, may as well make use of it. Um, we're not going to warm up that much, so I'm just going to spend some time and make these, I think. Or, that should be the whole time. Alright, and soon we can head in and sleep. I guess I can break down some of these and then try and try the torch lottery. Anything below... Well, all these are kind of bad. Eh. It's okay. We'll just harvest. I'd like some above 40, if I can.
That's better. Yeah, there we go. I'm happy with that, and the rest we can just harvest as sticks. Um, I'm not going to carry the fire with us. I don't see the reason to. Or I'm not going to keep it on while we're asleep. And the cave is like right here, so. I think that's good. More food. I haven't spent a lot of time in Coastal Highway in a while. When I did my, like, I guess my longest run before this game, it was like in Stalker and it was like an 80 day game and I spent most of my time in Coastal Highway. Starting to feel numb. It'll be fun to return back. It's a good map. Um, it's kind of aged, I suppose. Like, they have updated it, I'm pretty sure, but... Like, at least Mystery Lake, since its involvement is a, is so heavy in story mode... Oh my goodness, that really... I, I thought I saw, like, some wolf with glowing eyes walking out of there because of the snow. Uh, because Mystery Lake is, like, so involved in story mode, they've... I don't know, it seems to have been given more love. I don't know about that for sure. Alright. And we have... It's just a backpack. I guess I just need to walk to the back of the cave. Okay, we're actually at the back now. And we do have some wood still. Right. Enough, I think. So, I also need to drop these. I don't think I'm going to put that in my notebook or whatever, that these are here. I'll just hopefully find them. I can't imagine coming back to Ravine and not checking the, like, the two caves. I do, I do need to be careful to not sleep for like 8 or 10 hours, because that would be such a... Stupid way to end one of these runs. But we should be getting well fed really soon. At some point in the next in-game day, I think. And that will help us a lot. We do need more sticks. But otherwise, I think we're ready to sleep. I want to be careful, so I'll just do chunks. Pretty windy. I think it's just windy. Is it getting colder? Doesn't look like it. So I think we're okay. It's still the same, so I think it's just wind. Sleep four more hours. Sounds like the wind's dying down. And it is starting to get cold. But it's still warm enough in a bedroll. We don't have much left to sleep, if anything, so I think we're okay. I can... I really just have to, like, okay, I can craft this past a little bit of time. But otherwise, there's not much for us to pass time with except the books. It's only minus two, it is warming up. But if it's minus two in the back of the cave, it's going to be very cold outside. So I'd like to finish up this book. I guess I should have taken the can, uh, 
with me so I could have cooked it on the fire. That way I could have improved my cooking skill. If I can start a fire with a mag lens, which I don't think I can because it's snowing, then I'll cook. Okay. I'm not going to waste the match just to cook it. And I'd rather not take it with me because even as a food, it's just not that good. And with its condition, the only real benefit to me is improving my skill. I suppose every calorie counts, but 25% is kind of risky. How far are we in terms of... We almost are level 5. We do have a book as well. I think I'll keep this on me and burn it eventually. Let's eat. And drink. And then, it's still kind of cold. I can sleep an hour, but I might want to read another hour first. Now I can try sleeping an hour. And hopefully the weather doesn't just turn. Alright. How heavy is that? That's pretty heavy. How far... I can't exactly tell when we started eating just by looking in the journal, so... We're almost three days. That's all I know. I think I'll take... It's only two kilograms. It does add up. There we go. Like, right on cue. Couldn't have been a better time. Okay, we're already above 35, and then we have the meat to take. But we won't be nearly as slow now. And it is cold. So we should get moving. But look how quick we're moving, even with... 40 kilograms. Thank you, well fed. And we should be able to maintain it for... I don't know, maybe like an in-game week at minimum now, with all this meat on us. And we do smell, which should only be because of the sheer quantity of meat, and not because we actually kept anything like raw guts on us. I don't really think I can go this way, it seems. I want a shortcut. I should just go the actual way. But other than all the stuff we left in the cave, which we'll eventually come back for, I think I'm free to just uh, head to Coastal Highway now. I really like the noises of the crampons with the rails. Imagine getting a, yeah, like this. Imagine getting a sprained ankle from the rail. Would, it's like the most avoidable sprained ankle. I don't think there's much on that side. We still have the big bridge to cross. This cave always looked like this. I haven't come this way in a while. So this is like a collapsed tunnel then, I suppose. I guess. Interesting. Or maybe this was by design. I, I imagine like the tunnel... It's not like that tunnel would have 
bend the whole thing in here. And then it collapsed. I think it's just, this is sort of how it looked. Maybe some things in it collapsed, but not the whole thing. Because it wouldn't really make sense if the whole thing looked like this. And then that just turned into that. Alright. Now would be a bad time to remember that you forgot something in the homestead or something. You know? When you're multiple kilometers away and you're traveling by foot. If I forgot anything in that cave, that'd be... A shame. Wait, how cold? Negative 17. You ever, like, check your watch but or your phone for the time, but you don't actually look at what time it is? You just, like, put it up in front of your face, you look at it, and then you, like, don't actually register what time it is? And then you have to check again? <laughs> That's exactly what I just did with the, the temperature. Okay, now... I'm pretty sure you can just walk anywhere in this bridge. Until the one section up ahead. This was really incredible the first time, though. I still don't like the visual gaps, because I don't know. Like, we don't have feet, so it's hard to know exactly where your hitbox is. I imagine this whole bridge is just a full hitbox up until that point right there. How cold is it? We're doing okay. We'll take some cold damage. But I think that's all right. Now here... Here I want to be very careful with the hitbox. I imagine it's pretty forgiving. I've never fallen off of this, but... I really just have no idea what the hitbox looks like, which makes it so good from a gameplay perspective. If you were just walking on, like, the rectangle hitbox, it wouldn't be as scary if you could just see them. But the fact that you can't see where the hitbox begins and ends, I think adds to it. We should have at least, like, a trailer or something to reside in in Coastal Highway, if I remember correctly. Now we do have to be careful because we have all this meat on us and we're going to be attracting wolves. Can I eat this one first? We still smell, but it's clear weather, so it's okay. We are pretty cold. Um... I will start a fire. It looks like we can use the mag lens. If we come into a wolf, I'll just uh, light a fire with a torch, I guess. I do really have to be mentally careful now, because I'm so used to not having to worry about wolves from Ravine. I know you can sh sort of shortcut your way down, but I want to go through the trailers. Oh, I don't like this. This feels like there's a wolf just waiting to kill me. Hopefully there isn't a wolf behind here. So that would be the saddest end of a run ever. Okay. Let's go inside. Okay. I feel better now. 26%. That's not good either. 
Do I risk it right now? We are close to level 5 and we have so much food. I'm Anything below 30, I just don't want to risk right now. a little bit uh there is i think we can loot sort of the train area over there there could be loot there i think if i remember correctly and it could also be worth to start a free fire and just uh just have torches with us but i'm going to maybe i'll just pass time and we're a bit warmer still have a small risk but i think we're okay I don't hear anything. I suppose the strategy is if you're if a wolf sees you, don't light a torch if there's clear weather. If you're certain it's clear weather, um just immediately light a campfire using the mag lens. The issue is if you're wrong and you can't. Then I guess you have to waste a match or something, but... Yeah, it looks like you should be able to, but I guess it's just not clear enough. So yeah, because ideally you would do that so you wouldn't have to waste a match at all on a torch. And from what I understand, the moment the fire is being created, it... AI... To the AI, it's as if you already have a fire. So the only risk is if you fail to make one. I suppose. Uh, we're finally in Coastal Highway. So many cattails. We have a bit of wood, and we finally have well fed. Let me just, uh... The game saves when you go inside an interior, right? Yes. Okay, I just wanted to see the actual saving before I quit the game. So I think that will be it for this episode. Uh, hopefully we can actually find some of the more new... Is there a blizzard? Or wind? I guess we'll have to deal with that after. We'll be fine though. But hopefully in the next episode we can... I'm not going to make any fire hardened arrows, I don't think. But hopefully we can find some oak trees and some acorns. Or maybe we could even find a prepper cache. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.